Hi, it's been a while. Things have been super crazy around here. I've been trying to develop some new tool systems for you guys, and I'm going to introduce you to one of those systems today. I'm working on others as we speak. Uh, additionally, I've been making a heck of a lot of the bezel indexing tools and the jaws that go with those. So I'm just running around in circles, basically uh, trying to keep up with orders and, and develop some new things. But today I want to talk to you about a new system that I put together, kind of a concho making kit or a concho factory. Um, if you like conchos, I think this will be right up your alley. I made another more comprehensive video with all my usual antics um, and I'll put a link to that up here and uh, if you want a deep dive into the ins and outs of using this system you can check that out. This is just a short overview of how the system works. If you're savvy about using a hydraulic press, press and pancake dies and impression dies then this, this will be a piece of cake for you. But if you want the details, um, you can check out that other video. The kit is available on my Etsy store. And there's a link down in the description below the video here. And there's also a link to my Etsy store way up there at the top. If you're on a computer, uh, you'll see the little Etsy logo. And that will take you to my store. So let's get going. First of all, the kit consists of a couple of impression dies to give you the ability to make two different styles of conchos. And I'll be adding more concho specific impression dies. I'm working on a die, on a design for a die right now that uh, I'm not finished engraving yet. But I'm gonna try and do that about once a month. So when you purchase the, the kit, it will be um, something that you can add to, add new styles to all the time. Um, it, it won't get stale in other words. But um, it also consists of a um, one and a half inch concho shaped pancake die that is geometrically perfect. And what I mean by that is you'll be able to punch out the concho shape and then reposition that plug that you, that outline that you punched out and use the geometrically perfect pancake die to remove the tab that, le that is left by all pancake dies. And that'll make more sense a little further down in the video. And then finally, it consists of a, uh, it also has a forming die. And the forming die will give you the ability to make a hat-shaped concho. And that's my personal favorite shape of concho. It's one of the most versatile. You can use it on hat bands. You can use it on tack and saddles. You can use it on belts. And it... It, it just is better looking, in my opinion, a better looking concho than a simple dome and uh, has a lot more dimension. So, oh, finally, there are, there's a set of 25 Chicago screws, stainless steel Chicago screws, very high quality, so that you can solder the female part of the, the Chicago screw on the back of the concho and attach it to, to any type of fabric or leather or um, you could even attach it to other jewelry. But anyway, conchos are very versatile. I just, I love making them. And uh, I am looking forward to showing you the new system. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, here's the first component of the kit. It is a one and a half inch concho pancake die and it is made of high grade stainless steel, so it will never rust. And if you're not familiar with how pancake dies work, they are very simple to use. All you need to do is insert your sheet metal between the male and female portions of the die and apply pressure with a shop press or a jeweler's press until the shape is cut out. And in this case, I'm using 18 gauge nickel silver to make this concho. Once the concho shape has been pressed out of the sheet metal, you'll notice that you have a small tab that will need to be removed. This is why the geometric perfection of the pancake die is so important. All we need to do now is to locate that tab anywhere on the concho pancake die 
that will allow it to be removed from the concho. So by reinserting the concho blank into the pancake die, but orienting the tab at a different location, we can easily cut it off and we don't have to do any sawing whatsoever. So here we see the tab has been removed and all we did was reorient the concho blank and put it back into the shop press or the jewelry press and pressed it right out. No manual sawing required. Very cool. The second component of the system is the impression dies. This uh, could be considered the heart of the system really because it's what produces the design. Here we have kind of a flower, a typical or a classic concho style design and it ships with this one as well as another impression die that I call the California Sun. And Using the impression dies is very simple as well. We're going to employ the aid of our shop press or our jeweler's press once again. You may have noticed that there is a circle around the design on both of these impression dies and th it should become evident what the purpose of that circle is. It allows you to put your concho blank concentric with the design and makes it just very easy to not have any guesswork in aligning the sheet metal piece on top of the impression die. You'll also notice that I have annealed this concho blank. It's very important to anneal your metal prior to trying to get a good impression using the impression die in your shop press or jeweler's press. Once the concho blank has been pressed into the cavity of the impression die, you can then remove it and move on to the next step, which takes us to the next component of the system. And that component is a forming die, which consists of a female base and a male top. And the female and male portions are located with hardened steel pins to make it very easy to use. You'll also notice that there is a machined out circle that is, has been machined to allow you to locate your concho blank easily and 100% accurate. The forming die creates a hat-shaped concho rather than a simple dome, which is kind of difficult to achieve without a tool like this. The concho that I'm showing here has been stamped. I've stamped it around the perimeter with an eyelash stamp and a dot stamp, and I've polished it up. But uh, the other thing that comes with the kit is a set of 25 Chicago screws that are made out of high quality stainless steel. So you can attach those to the back of your conchos and then attach your conchos to really anything that you'd like. So there you have it. I hope you like the system. It's always my goal to take a difficult task and make it easier for you to be able to accomplish um, whatever it is you're trying to do. I hope my tools do that for you, and uh, I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. If you will, uh, like and subscribe. I have other tool ideas that I'm working on, so you'll be the first to know if you subscribe. Anyway, I'll see your bright and shiny face in the next video. Bye.